What's up YouTube? Welcome back to The Bearded Gentleman. I got an unboxing for y'all today. And what, two videos ago I said, I mentioned that the camcorder that I had, that I was making videos on had quit working. Um, I couldn't get it to charge. So, you know, I've been making the last couple videos on my phone here, which isn't terrible quality. It does have the 4K option on it, which is what it's in now. Um, I did want an actual camera to, to make these videos on, so I went ahead and picked one up. <clears throat> the Sony A6400. I was looking at the A6100, but Best Buy that I went to did not have them in stock yet. So I talked to the guy and I made the choice of picking up the A6400. So this will be the new camera that I use to make videos for this channel. Um, also, if you head over to twitch.tv, you can follow me over there if you like video games, see Mac Live on Twitch. I will be uh, in the near future using this kind of as a webcam as well. So without any further ado, let's jump on into the box here, open it up, see what all we got. All right, let's get into it. So off the bat, you see here I picked this uh, 256 gigabyte memory card up for the camera nothing special there and the Sony a6400 this is a kit so it comes with the camera body the camera lens and battery and whatnot so <clears throat> this is my first real camera um, so I have a lot of playing to do and figuring out um, watching reviews and how to set it up but we'll do that after we unbox it here here are you know some of the specs on it I don't know really what any of this means at this point in time uh, I picked it up because it shoots 4k um, if I wanted to take a picture and, and send it straight to my phone it's got Bluetooth so and Wi-Fi but Let's open this box and see what is inside. All right, so off the rip, looks like an ad for a credit card, the warranty information, uh, Exploring accessories for Sony. Bunch of other guides that I'll read off camera. So, <clears throat> let's open this up and start on this side here. So, with the kit, and I, I don't know if you get this with just the body or not, but definitely get it with the kit. Um, we have a shoulder strap, the eye cup or eye piece, whatever you want to call that. We have the USB to micro USB cable. Um, I believe you can charge the batteries in inside the camera while they're in the camera. A little wall adapter for charging. So just the wall adapter. And last but not least, we have the battery itself. So there's that. Uh, Let's take these two things out and then move the box out of the way. All right, so this is something I was looking at getting but opted out of while I was at Best Buy, but I guess it doesn't really matter because it looks like they sent us a, uh, what are these called, lens hood. So that's nice. And then we'll start here. with the uh, what is it 18 by 135 lens 
This is not a wide angle lens, um, which I will be looking at getting one in the future at some point. So this is the lens for the camera. So nothing too special. Like I said, this is my first camera. So this isn't a review. This is really just an unboxing. It's kind of light, you know, for a lens, I would imagine. And this is the big ticket item. This is the body. So, there it is, the Sony A6400. <clears throat> so, it does have this flip out screen, instead of coming out to the side, it actually kind of flips Let's see if I can get it to do, do it here. It comes out like such, goes up. So the can, the screen will sit up top. Or if you're t taking low pictures and you don't, you know, you don't feel like getting on your belly to take the picture, you do have that option right there. So just a little flip out screen. It doesn't come out to the side. It goes out to the up to the top so I am gonna have to play with this play with the settings this camera you know in general feels really light there are some other accessories that I want to get for this camera such as a mic maybe like a shotgun mic or something like that um, but we're gonna play with the camera a little bit see what all it has to offer I think this should have more than enough for what I'm going to be using it for, but what I'm going to do, we'll put the lens on. A lot of the reviews I've seen, people are, you know, pretty stoked about the, what is it, the lens processor? I don't know what it's called. That thing right in there. So we'll do some side-by-sides with it or before and after, like I'll use the uh, the iPhone to, let's see here. There we go. How far is it supposed to turn? There we go, it clicked. So with even with the lens on it, this camera is not that heavy. Um, and I wouldn't imagine the battery adding, you know, a crazy amount of weight to it. But this is the camera that I will be using to shoot videos for this channel in the future and um, try and also use it, get the most out of it, and try and use it for, um, you know, streaming, like uh, use it as a webcam, basically. But let's go outside take some pictures and videos on the iPhone, and then we'll charge this up. We'll take these same pictures and videos with this. Neither do them side by side or one after the other, but I'll label them. So let's get it charged up and then we'll head outside. All right, so this is on the Sony A6400. Um, if I was to use it as like a vlogging camera or whatever, this is what it would look like. I'm just walking back and forth here on the carport so it's it's really bright here I don't can't really see if the image is blown out um, so we'll just walk back and forth a little bit see how the camera adjusts to the lighting and stuff like that and then we'll go over to the iPhone and see how that operates with lighting so All right, that was the Sony A6400. Let's switch cameras, and because uh, this lens is fogging up because it's so hot out here, and let's switch cameras and see how the iPhone compares. All right, now we're on the iPhone using the front-facing camera. So if I was to like vlog or something like that, 
Uh, I'd have to use the front facing camera on the iPhone so I can see. So we're just gonna do the same kind of little walk around here for a second. See how the camera adjusts to different lighting um, to get a you know a decent comparison of how the camera adjusts to different lighting, how it picks up different lighting. So, like I said, this is the front-facing camera in the 4K 30 frames per second option. Uh, I don't remember what the other camera was at, what the Sony was at. I'll have to look at it and uh, hopefully it's attached somewhere there on the screen. So this was the iPhone front facing camera. Thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know down below if you can see a difference in the video footage and or pictures. Um, I think I can, but I don't know if that's just some sort of bias since I ended up you know, buying the camera if I'm looking and wanting to see differences, so I am. So drop it down in the comments if you can see differences between the video footage and the, and the pictures that I took. Thank you so much for watching and have a very, very blessed day.